That's mm-hmm. now I know why you guys didn't want to eat at five o'clock. Yes, because this would have been bad. He said, "Let him cook let later. Him cook. <laughs> <laughs> let him cook later. later. Please." Ooh, ah. But actually, this Love Is Blind is really good. TV boosts me for some reason. Oh, you guys are the episode discourse six. that we have in yes, it. We that really like tops it off. <laughs> What's that? I love me some love. Um, I think there's anywhere between ten and twelve. Let me look. And one of them's a reunion. Which you know. And one of them you can totally skip because they're they're just going to look for dresses and it's not interesting at all. I'm watching it. And then it's the final date. Super boring. They're both boring. Absolutely watching it. This is basically almost over, to be honest. Yeah, there's eleven episodes. (laughs) You gotta look at her last. What? Oh no. Like we're all awake, and then good night, Sadia. Yeah, yeah. Well, there's, there's ten Yuck. episodes, but the eleventh one is the reunion. I'm literally just <laughs> resting my eyes. You know what? Going. How would it, how interesting of an episode would it be if we're all talking? See, he's passed out. We just. What do you think, Sadia? Mm. Mm. Think anyway. Well, we've had an episode like that. What sleeping? Well, we're like catatonic. When Brandon had broke the chair and <laughs> didn't say anything wrong <laughs> the entire time. Dang. <laughs> that was true, though. Ridiculous. Did you see someone <laughs> Yes, we <laughs> <were>. <laughs> People were like, he's not okay. He's not okay. People <laughs> could tell. And the, the, the guy in white. Funny, the wig made it funny because you just like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, that's hilarious. Did you see that, Sydney? Uh, I, no, didn't I was telling about that. her on the trip up. We talked about so much stuff. We did. <laughs> Sam, it didn't feel like we talked about so much, but no, like we talked about everything. Every time something comes up, I'm like, we me and Sam, we already <laughs> talked about this. It's so crazy. <laughs> it's like almost everything. I'm like, and she literally took Sam, two we like, about this. thirty minute naps, and we still talked about. And it's mm-hmm. like, are we rolling? Okay. Everything like there's like n- nothing that had correlations for any. No, because it was the most random yeah. things. Because we just like we just <laughs> oh, say something right. random and then we go on to a saying. tangent. It's because it was a car ride of tangents. That's what we're uh, on. It's yeah. like when we're free to chat. When there's no restrictions. When the there's man. when there's no gag <laughs> order. The man, <laughs> the man can can't hold us down. We were chatting. Do you guys not remember last week when you, the three of us, all did an episode? I don't know if you realize, but I let the tangents roll. I let the tangents ride, and you know you that. You yeah. gave us a little bit more leeway. You I did. gave you all the leeway. We had a tangent in the beginning. We had a tangent in the middle. We had a tangent at the end. Okay, We're that's impromptu. that's one tangent for each of us, Maddie. So that's quota. No, no that's way. Quota. We hit quota. No, that's quota. no, no, no. You guys are not going to do this no, to me. You guys are not going to double team on like, me. I was like, I feel so focused on these stories. I'm so connected to them. I don't need tangents. That's what I felt right. like in last week's episode. And yet we did the most we've done since we've been here and maybe in the past six years. <laughs> Anyways. Um, hello, everybody. Episode. Welcome back to the Comfort <laughs> Level Podcast. I'm Maddie and I'm here with... Yo, I'm Mr. J. Sam. Brandon. And uh, yeah, we're just here filming we here again. again. <laughs> here we are again. What is that song? I don't know. I was trying to... Uh, do something. See if anyone, okay. anyone right. would like to What about pick this one? What about this one? Here we go. Come, Come and see. Oh. There's a world out there that we can see. Take my hand. Close your eyes. Fly. Up, up. Here, here we go. 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 Well, we stop. Up, up. Here we oh. go. Yeah. Okay. That was like going yeah. somewhere, and I don't know what happened. <laughs> I didn't know the song at all, so that's what happened. Oh, you didn't know you Rocketeer? Didn't know that didn't song? Didn't know it at all, so I was just trying to fit in with you guys, trying to like lead in. You, you, you're, the, you're the faker. Falling from cloud nine. Anyway, let's get to the first story. That was good. <laughs> I needed him to get. I was like, oh, I nine. love like, Katie. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, I can't. If, I, if I say nine, yeah. this falls. Yeah. It's the same thing we're so saying. I'm like, cloud eight. <laughs> I'll try and get you there, Brandon. <laughs> so, this is from r slash petty revenge. My mm-hmm. girlfriend got an illegal Airbnb ring in her apartment complex busted. An illegal Illi- Wait. Illegal Airbnb ring. So, that means a group of people are illegally doing the Airbnb. They're like hosting the Airbnb and they're not supposed to do it in the apartment. Oh, because oh. I thought it was like those fake Airbnbs where they would it's like pictures. Fight Club. They put pictures of nice places and you go there and it looks crappy. 
Um, That's a thing. Yeah. I didn't know that. Man, these scammers are really scamming. Joanna. 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 Shout out Joanna from October. <laughs> I miss her. She, she seemed quiet. to be a little out of it that yeah, day. Yeah, she was really quiet. <laughs> yeah, you know, like, you know, I saw it. It was like, you know, people break chairs and then they just have an internal conflict for some odd reason. Like, this is relatable, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah. So anyway, like, you have, like, this internal conflict and you're like, dang, like, I hate breaking people's things because I hate what, like, I break things or people break my things. And I'm hmm. like, Interesting. oh, my gosh, it's, like, really tough. I got to break the news and then, like, people mm-hmm. are like, oh, yeah. You broke yeah. the chair. You have to break the news. But you're saying this from the outside in because that was Joanna. Yeah, right? that was Joanna. That this wasn't Is Joanna's the chair's name? No, no Joanna. No, the, Joanna the Scammer. Joanna Scammer was on the show. Yeah. The podcast, the yeah. one with the blonde hair. That was really quiet for that one episode. Yeah. Yeah. She's a scammer? Yeah, You've it's a character. You've never heard Joanna you the never Scammer? Heard Joanna, Joanna the Scammer? Very famous. Joanna the Scammer, darling. Oh. She's from, oh. like, Instagram Vine days. So maybe that's why. I haven't seen her in a long time. Okay. Oh, there it is. I know. I know. Joanna. Okay. So okay. it was very cool to have her on the show, but then for her to not say anything was It was like, people were weird. like, yeah. so we know who that is. Did we pay Joanna to be on the- $6,000. Wow. I'm going to find her in court. Yeah. <laughs> Holy, she did not live I mean, off. she's scamming, so- Actually, that makes never mind. sense. It's a loss. Very on brand. <laughs> that uh, so we should have never, never mind, given her that. Thankfully, mind. it was a faulty check, though. So, oh, it hey, and this is a girl that knows how to go. <laughs> this girl knows business. Scan the scanner. She stands on business. Maddie does. Mm-hmm. She does. I know who she was. Yeah. <laughs> <I> <laughs> good for you, Maddie. I know who you. Are. I looked her up. <laughs> she her keeps link- it all together for her. Us. LinkedIn is too like clean. You yeah. know, okay. it's like yeah. For a scammer. For, yeah, I'm like, this is suspicious. CEO of Coca-Cola, yeah. Joanna? Joanna. Yeah. Really, Joanna? For three years, you're the CEO of Coca-Cola? Right, right, Never right, heard of you. Right. Okay. Because you're a beautiful woman, so I would have noticed you. And the bigger problem <laughs> is she drinks, she drinks Pepsi. My girlfriend got an illegal Airbnb ring and her apartment complex busted. We live in a new and small apartment complex, only 40 units within two buildings. It's very low key and within walking distance to our downtown. It's very affordable for how convenient a location it is. Back in September, we noticed the vacant unit beside us was getting moved into by a new tenant with furniture, decor, etc. One weekend, not long after moving in, We heard what sounded like a little party with music and loud voices well past midnight. Mm. We heard a lot of people coming in and out of of the front, but letting the door slam each time to where it shook the walls. Maybe they were having a housewarming party or a friend's get together to a new place. So we brushed it under the rug as a one-time incident. For the next few weeks, we noticed a variety of people coming in and out of this apartment and none of them seemed to be the same individuals. Parking always started to become more busy than usual, as well as the cars kept changing. Something seemed off. My girlfriend started working night shift for her job not long after the neighboring apartment became occupied. She's a light sleeper, and she noticed that all throughout the morning and before going to work, the neighbor's door was always slamming and shaking the walls. She understood that people are active in the day, and she can't ask people to cater to her night shift needs, but she felt the constant slamming of doors was not only disruptive, but unusual behavior. One particular morning was the straw that broke the camel's back. She had finally had enough because of the effect it was having on her sleep. She wanted to see who was slamming the doors. She heard the door slamming around 10.30 a.m., got up and witnessed people walking into their car with suitcases and leaving. Soon after, a man arrived and pulled up to the front doormat and retrieved a key and let two women with cleaning supplies into the apartment. Each time they entered or left the door would slam and shake the wall. Seeing this, she searched Airbnb and almost immediately found the rental unit next door. Same floor plan, wall paint, flooring. To our surprise and anger, we found a total of four listings in our apartment complex alone on the host profile. (laughs) That is 10% of the apartments in our building. Through the listing, we found the individual's LinkedIn website. On his website, he claims that he does something called retail arbitrage. Essentially, it's renting out a long-term rental on a short-term basis, lease an apartment and rent it on Airbnb for profit. This can be done legally within the landlord's permission. The lease agreement does not allow for subletting or short-term rentals. They were renting out three of the four ground end units offered, units with unique floor plans. The fourth unit was a handicap accessible unit. That's right. The man and his business partner leased an apartment meant for accommodating people with disabilities with the intention of using it for his little short-term business empire he was trying to build. 
Our city and region, like in other places, have been feeling the squeeze of the apartment availability, and these dickheads are contributing to the problem. It was at this point we took this personally as we had our own problems dealing with apartment availability, wait lists, disappointment, and frustration. My girlfriend called the leasing office and notified them of the neighboring unit that is being rented out on Airbnb and asked if that was allowed, to which the office gave an emphatic, absolutely not, and asked for the listing to be sent to them in an email. Later that day, the office called her back and said they notified the tenant that he will that they will be inspecting the apartments the following afternoon. After the inspection was completed, the office notified that they had sent a cease and desist document of any rental activities outside the lease agreement or face eviction. They are also informed that you should not have any problems concerning the matter. And if you do, don't hesitate to give us a call. Now, this asshole has four leases he's stuck paying $1,500 a month for, and he can't make any more money through Airbnb. He's Mm -hmm. bleeding money at the tune of $6,000 a month. His only legal options are to continue paying for them or to break the lease and vacate. Last week, we watched as the movers emptied out the apartments. I'm sure they lost deposits and were penalized for breaking the leases. A very expensive lesson for being a greedy entrepreneur. Don't be dickheads, folks. Also, don't piss off night shift workers trying to sleep. Yeah. More power to you. Mm -hmm. Fight the power. Fight fight the power. Fight Fight the the power. power. Fight the power. Somebody said, somebody said in the top comment, the leasing office rented four apartments to one person and, and they didn't think that was weird. Yeah, yeah. actually, that's a <laughs> really Well, good one's question. my office, one is um, my kids, they get their own apartment. Um, I need one, of course. I need two, so the sleeping one and then the <laughs> resting one. And then there's the office one. Right. My mm-hmm. personal office, mm-hmm. of course, nobody else in there. A but. sleeping one in a resting apartment? Yeah. Wow. Because I only take naps in this one. Okay. But I fully sleep in the other one. <laughs> no, it's resting like with your eyes open. Like yeah. there's nothing in there. Just like something to sit on. Yeah. Like one chair. And you just, just so I can think. <laughs> it's just, just a so thinking apartment. Yeah. <laughs> oh, just a place to ponder. I will say night shift workers and revenge seem to be in the same sentence a lot. They're angry. A recurring thing. Oh, really? Yeah. They're angry to be up at night. Yeah. Yeah. One of the mods, as they were listening to it, they're like, not going to lie, this doesn't sound very petty. But a lot of people liked it. I love it. Because it's not really petty. It's like, hey, what are you doing? Why the hell are you doing this? Hey, you're hey. living next to me and you're, you're slamming that door. What are you doing? What's going on? Got these loud parties? Yeah. I'm going to report you. That's it. It's over with. <laughs> That's what I would do. I'd be like, Maddie, that think, is. Oh, yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna report you. You see that the bang come in? It did. It formed it behind your hand. And it won't be no accident like this next story. Oh! Mm, I saw him pick up the phone. I knew it was coming. <laughs> see, I hate doing that. I'm he like, says, oh. he said. <sighs> okay. He said, beep. and then he scrolled and he picked one. He said, beep, That's beep, it. beep, <laughs> beep. <laughs> yeah, what's the sitch? Okay, that one. <laughs> <laughs> what's the sitch? <laughs> Okay, so this one is from Tifu. It's today I fucked up by doing what my ex-wife says and ignoring the accident and two people died. What? Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you read that one more time for the class? Today I fucked up by doing what my ex-wife says and ignoring the accident and two people died. Don't Why? post this on Reddit. <laughs> Why are we listening You're an to the ex-wife? To murder? That's a crime. <laughs> Do not write this. Oh my god. On the internet. So this happened, I don't know, 2008-ish, and it's a memory that unfortunately won't go away in my life. It popped up again unintentionally and unprovoked the other night, and it just doesn't sit right with me. I'm always left with regret and remorse. So the year was 2008 or so. I tried Googling the news headlines to corroborate my claim, but I'm not very good at that sort of advanced search. My then wife at the time is not a good person at heart. She was a Karen in training and very self-centered. We were heading up the 101 in California for her cousin's wedding one weekend. I want to say it was around Salinas. Before the exit to head west to Monterey when the accident happened, I saw a spray helicopter about 100 yards on our right take take off from the field, and I watched it get about 50 feet into the air. Not too high from the helicopter, but enough to be low for a helicopter. I saw it hovering there and then saw the propellers for a second quite visibly, which caught my attention because you should honestly never see them rotating that fast when airborne. So now I'm paying complete attention to the halo and I watch smoke come out of its engines and then just stops and it plummets to the ground like a rock. I saw it happen. I pointed it out and I started to pull over to the shoulder to help and she yells at me, what are you doing? 
I'm pulling over to help. What are you going to do? I've got a fire extinguisher in the car. I can go put out the flames and try to pull them out. You're not a Marine anymore. You can't just go running off and saving people anytime anymore. But they could be hurt and I see smoke mm-hmm. everywhere. No, we're going to be late for the wedding. Let someone else deal with it. Uh, so The wedding? For a wedding? Oh. So we went away. I found out later during the week in the news that two people died inside that fire before emergency services got there. The worst part is that when we finally arrived to her cousin's wedding, we found out they deemed us unimportant enough for the actual ceremony, and it was just the reception we were hurrying to. I wow. feel like I feel like those yes. deaths are on me. I should have done something. Oh. And so there's an edit. Um, thanks for all the well wishes and DMs. No, I don't actually know why the comments got locked, and I received no message about it. I'm aware that I have issues with PTSD from war-related things, mostly, and my time as a PMC. I do therapy and I talk about everything. Perhaps it's time to add this one to the list. It is odd to me yeah. that... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Should have started with that. It know. is odd to me that this specific instance pops up, but thanks for allowing me to share it. I still feel bad, though. Slightly less bad thanks to some comments. The helicopter never actually exploded, but yes, I'm aware my rinky-dink extinguisher would have been as useful as a bottle of water. If I remember correctly, it was a small cockpit fire and the engine had just died hence my regret for at least not trying no one found the article yet but i appreciate the effort truly it's why i mention it if it helps i just want to say it was around early afternoon maybe definitely not the morning crash people keep sending me where the people survived i wish it was though dang okay my reaction i I wasn't laughing at the story i just want to clear that up i was laughing because i looked at sadia and she saved somebody and i was like like, she's my hero and i'm like that's crazy that oh my god you did say i put a man out of a fire yeah and i was like that's that's my hero and i was like the fact that the fact that ob's wife held him back from being a hero is crazy nobody would stop from saving like can you imagine if (laughs) Can you imagine if Claudia was there and she was like, no, leave it alone. Somebody else will do it. Yeah, no, that's actually crazy. Like, I know Claudia would never, but. We have to get to the reception. The wedding. Or the reception. The reception. It's a wedding. These yeah. people might be dying. You got to hurry up, you know. Are you? And you're going to be the life of the wedding if you come back. You're like, so why were you late? Oh, we just saved. You come, you come back with like, like, a, with like a singed Suits tux. All burnt. Yeah. You're like, what's, what happened? <laughs> yeah. Like a little, little, little pull out the gash fire. mark. Some just, slight, no biggie. Yeah, I just I saved just, it. A couple saving people. If something like that happened, though, I'd be like, listen, th- I, I can see why that's his ex-wife. Oh, yeah. Because. Selfish. <laughs> to the point of other people dying. How, somebody wild. having that type of character, though, being like so inconsiderate. You see somebody dying and your first thought is like, forget it. It's not your problem. I mean, I definitely understand the bystander effect. I was just getting ready to mention that. Yeah, how like there is people where it's like somebody else will deal with it. But usually the bystander effect, isn't it, where it's like nobody ends up helping because everyone's like, well, everyone's around. around. Somebody else is going to help. So that's what everybody thinks. So nobody gets help. Mm -hmm. Could you imagine that, though? Just seeing that happen. Like, what would your reaction be? That's scary. You just see like the plane just... Well, if I had that type of training, definitely what he was going to do, which is driving over and seeing if you could yeah. pull people out. Yeah. Especially if it was soon enough. I mean, it's definitely dangerous, 100% dangerous, because you never know if it would explode or mm-hmm. when it was going to explode. Yeah. But trying to pull people out, seeing if there's anybody that can be saved. Right. Because exactly what he's living with, I don't want to live with that. Right. Mm-hmm. Where you're like, are they, is that blood on my hands? Yeah. Because I listened to somebody in the moment and... He said that was in 2008 and he's still thinking about it. Wow. The fact that the wife is just like, it's fine. Like so easily though. Cause I would have been like, Hey, yo, what? Like, like bro. Like, no like, concern at all. <laughs> I would be like, okay, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? All right. Just keep going. N- no, not that, but maybe like call 911 or something. At pull bare over to see minimum. What I can do. Oh yeah. Because the best case scenario was just like she was just scared for her husband. It was like, I don't want him to get involved in this because of things yeah. like it could explode and I don't want him to get near it. So she was like, yeah. And she said this thing in the moment to be like, we got, well, we got a wedding. Blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Someone else will take care of it. It's still selfish. It's yeah. still bad. But maybe she didn't mean it in the malicious way. Because people handle, I would be scared saying that if I was driving. Mm-hmm. That's all that happened. I'm like. I would definitely probably freeze for a second. 100%. Yeah. 
Can somebody send me the words, by the way? Yeah, send them. Send text it. I actually have zero desire to do that. Like our next story. Where is it? But he actually already sent them to you. So. Okay. <laughs> He's like, if you actually would look I try so hard at your messages. Do. No, you do a really good job, Brandon. That is. You make us dinner. You're constantly sending the notes. You and Steph, uh, Chef Steph, are in the kitchen the most. Chef making you us stay food. in the kitchen. Stay no, that's really chef. <laughs> yeah, chef. It's Chef. Okay, so this one's from Am I the Asshole? Am I the Asshole for laughing at my sister-in-law and telling her I have zero desire to raise her child? The sister-in-law? Mm-hmm. And laughing at her? Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> I have zero desire to raise your child. <laughs> it's not an anime. I think the laugh is what pushes over the top. You can say you have zero desire to raise anyone's children. Did you need to laugh? Did you have to laugh? In her face? Maybe she, maybe once we hear the story, we're like, we're like yeah. I would have laughed. I would have did a little chuckle too. I, 44 female, am married to my hubby, Jimmy, 48 male, for over two decades. My parents died suddenly in a car accident 10 years ago. I have a younger sister, Abigail, 39 female, with Down syndrome, and Jimmy and I are her guardians. Abigail is my sweet angel on earth. When my parents passed, I was a working mother of three young kids, helping to build our family business with my husband. At first, Abigail lived with us full time. Jimmy has always been on my side with her care and loves her to bits. After a few months, we realized that my sister needed more attention than we could give her. There was just not enough time in the day. We had discussed what would be best for her and decided to put her into a private adult home for special needs people. It's very costly, over $10,000 a month, and comes from our own finances. The facility does all sorts of activities and field trips. She loves her home, her friends, and the special days the facility hosts. We are always stopping by to either visit, sign her out on holidays to spend with family, keeping her overnight for special sleepovers with my kids, and take her on every vacation with us. We never go more than 24 hours without one of us making sure she's okay. So now onto the issue. I have a sister-in-law, Jenny, 42, who had her first child after years of trying. She became the typical first-time mom who believes she invented motherhood and is openly opinionated about things she believes other people fall short on. I mostly ignore her, and so does Jimmy. We hosted a barbecue at my house for my for Labor Day with my father-in-law, mother-in-law, Jenny, her husband, baby, and my kids. Abigail had planned a trip to the zoo and asked if she could go. Of course. We said okay. While we were eating, Jenny turned to me and asked where Abigail was. Her tone was more accusatory than questioning. I simply didn't want to get into it with Jenny, so I said Abigail wanted to stay at home. Jenny then turned to her hubby and said, see, this is why it won't ever happen. My mother-in-law asked what Jenny said she was talking about, and Jenny all snarky said to the whole table, we did our wills last week and we knew those two wouldn't be suitable as guardians of our baby if something happened to us. They tossed her sister into a home rather than a real family. I won't let that happen to my child. I didn't let it show, but I was extremely hurt by this. How could she say this? Instead of yelling, I laughed at her and said, well, that's great news since I have zero desire to raise your kid. More was said, but that was the gist of it. Jenny left with her family calling me nasty swear words as she walked out. I might have said a few swear words back myself. It's been over a month now, and Jimmy is still getting nasty texts from Jenny demanding that I apologize. My mother-in-law knows she overstepped with her comment, but is asking me to be the bigger person and say sorry to keep the peace. I refuse. Am I the asshole? <laughs> no. I, I, I felt like that. I felt like that chuckle was going to be necessary, and it seems like it was. Yeah, the chuckle was... It was yeah. 100% necessary. Sure, yeah. She's not the asshole. Yeah. I'm going to grab a water really quick. Oh, OP, is it OP the asshole? Okay. Uh, no. Okay. <laughs> Very um, good. <laughs> something hurtful was said, so they just volleyed it right back. They didn't have the... The sister-in-law didn't have to say that. Yeah, like, the comment about her... Being snarky. Her, well, Is it her sister? Her sister-in-law. Her sister-in-law? Oh, you mean the, the one with Down syndrome? Yeah. Yeah, it's OP's sister. Yeah, the comment about her, that is so unnecessary. Like, doing that type of care for someone is... It's, it can weigh on you. And, of course, if you have... If you're able to, like, put them... And is she in a home? Mm -hmm. Is that what they said? Yeah. Put them in a home where 
you know, she's able to thrive and get what she can't get at home. Like that's helping her in the long run. Mm -hmm. They're doing what's necessary to help her for her care, for her, for her to thrive. And they literally said, it's not like we don't want to happen. We just don't have time to do it. Yeah. So we're paying $10,000 a month to be able to make sure that she still has a really good life. Yeah. We, we at least see her, or talk to her every day. Every day we talk to her. For her One to of, have a quality of life. Yes. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And making a decision like that is hard because it's like, you know, you don't necessarily want that to be your your option but it's like okay that's the best option with what we have and what we're able to do right now mm -hmm. it just sucks that um there's like a lot of people out there that try and get into your business so they say these snarky things and it's like you don't even understand what you're talking you don't about know what's going on, but you dude. know it's it's rude to say it, i'm okay with your reasoning if you're like i don't want them to be be in charge of my kid because of this reasoning. There's no reason to say it. There's no reason to bring it up. It's, it's just a thing in the will that you don't need to say the reason yeah. for. It is only a hurtful thing to say. There's no benefit to saying it at all. And even like in the middle of the party, it's like, like Opie said, she's like, I don't care that I'm not taking care of your kids. Right. Yeah. Again, like that can be in the will. And if, and if you did pick us, then yes, obviously talk to us about it before us, you put it, please don't. Yeah, put it there, in there, but that's it. Yeah. There would have to have been a heads up either way. Like, if she didn't say it, no heads up comes. You can assume I'm not going to take care of the child. Like I'm on the will. I mean, not that you would even be thinking about that in the first yeah. place, but like that, it, you don't gain anything from being that. That that's just rude and hurtful for no reason. Yeah, unprovoked. Agreed. So top comment. I'm completely non-special needs, and the idea of living in a group home like OP describes sounds fantastic. People who cook and clean for you and a load of friends and trips to the zoo? Somebody else said, me. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Somebody else said, people think I'm crazy when I say this, but I cannot wait until I get old and get to move into one of those senior facilities where they plan outings and everyone eats together and they play bingo. Sounds legit. Love the camaraderie. Right. They're like, take me there. <laughs> Why are these old people trying to escape from Why is it just for the old people? Yeah. I feel like it's not like that. I feel like people have a very generous vision of what a nursing home is. Yes. I think that there's a lot of nursing homes where people just nursing do homes? get left there. Yeah, they're getting taken advantage. Are the back rooms. <laughs> they just get left there. Tell me they're not. Depending tell on me they're not. Depending on the need requirement. But this me. one, this one sounds like it's that good. That one sounds great. The the ones that are not ten thousand dollars a month, that are man. maybe government. It's a government aid one. My when my grandma was in a nursing home. Oh my god, <laughs> that place is scary. From a child's perspective, is your grandma okay? Actually, I got traumatized at a nursing home once. Oh. Of one of the we were, we were visiting old. Um, I forget what war it was from, but. I guess Vietnam. we were interviewing. Was it Vietnam? I think it might have been Nam. Yeah, no. <laughs> might have been Nam. <laughs> the way he said that. That was so funny. I, I can't remember what it was, but my <laughs> yeah, friend. Yeah, it might John have been Nam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, I don't remember. Trying been to think Nam. back to know. those days. And it was either go for or it was Nam. <laughs> <laughs> He sound like he been through some yeah, things. He, he was in it. No, because <laughs> what, what happens next? My friend accidentally drops his, like, paper the paper like cuts into the like the wind and it goes against the, the what is it the the at the bottom of the the walls the trim of the walls okay. and it makes this like loud crack sound and i was like oh that's weird he loses it traumatized he Trigger, loses triggered. it and he's like yeah he gets he gets triggered he grabs the pin he's like Liberty! And he tries starts trying to stab me. I'm in mid-interview. He's like, Liberty! You won't get me! I said, oh. But he's like so old to the point where it's like, he's like this. But I think in his head, he's just over like, yeah. But he's like, Liberty! <laughs> so you, you just do? like slowly I just back kinda like, oh just, I was so scared because I knew what was happening. Like he was having a PTSD moment. But I was like, what do I do? Like, I, 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 I just didn't know what to do. <laughs> so I just kind of like sat there just like, Slowly backing up. Yeah, I just kind of leaned back in my chair. I was like, okay. Oh my gosh. That was horrible. Liberty, liberty, liberty. 
Liberty Mutual. Is it a little faster than that? Liberty? It does. Liberty. Liberty. There There we go. go. They're like, thanks for the shout out, guys. (laughs) Non-spawn. Bleep it out. (laughs) (laughs) No free clout for the girlies. Nothing free. I wish I could get ice cream for free, like this next story. Mm. Smooth like ice cream in this next story. So this one is from r slash petty revenge. Okay. Ice cream man stiffed my kid. Have we seen the ice cream man? No, maybe for good reason. I have. Have we seen him? I have not seen the ice cream man. Maybe we're making all that racket all the time. Making all that racket all, 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 that racket? all, 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 all day long. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess. I you, have. You, you've seen the ice cream man yes. this, this summer? Yeah. Too many times. Really? Yeah. Too many times. I have not seen him so at all. Yeah. Up in her neighborhood, but they're not with you. They yeah, they're not they don't come to my neighborhood anymore. Literally blasting that ice cream song, and I'm like, oh, yeah, I guess girl, I think of the last time. please. I feel like I've seen him on the street, but not in my neighborhood. You know, ever since I used to go to the ice cream man, but then they stopped carrying those like uh, bomb pops. With the sour gumball on top. Does mm, anybody know that? Yeah. You what? and my sister. Delicious. That, that's the best cream. thing that they had. The SpongeBob one was top tier. SpongeBob or Sonic? Not- with the gumball. Oh, oh, you know what was good? The Dora the Explorer one. I never had You were the one. SpongeBob yes. kid with the color around your mouth. I probably was. And oh, I'm proud of I it. hated that kid. I wanted to fight that. That's kid. your cousin. Any kid with like the with like ring. the ring. They had red popsicle and they got red popsicle around their I mouth. I hate that. Little, I hate that. Little the white ring. boys with red popsicle. Oh, oh they're the God. prime suspects yeah. too. Every Always. time. I just want a popsicle. And you're like, <laughs> if I could swing on you. Or you're like, did you eat a popsicle? And they're like, no. 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 And, and like, then they have like mouth, they have the little and stain like, <laughs> like right here. Yeah. And they have it like. <laughs> You can tell it's like they tried to they tried to smear it this way, so it's like, like no. Oh my god! <laughs> and that's where I feel bad because I'm like, usually when I see little kids, I like have generally like a happy temperament. Yeah. But I'm like, I can't hide the disgust in my face when I see like a little white kid. <laughs> things, and I'm like, <laughs> I'm so hey, disgusted. Hey, Timmy, disdained. And I can't even fake it. I can't be like, oh, you're. A they're kid. stained. They're literally. <laughs> Stained. <laughs> and they're always like that. I'm like, you're eating popsicles every day, Timmy? <laughs> and they're always like trying to get up in your face. Yeah, they're like, hey, hey <laughs> no, I like popsicles yeah, too. Their like, hands just you're ever you're so sticky, slightly Timmy. sticky. Timmy, Nothing crazy, but just <laughs> you can feel the residue. <laughs> yeah. It's the kids for me where it's like they get up in your face and they're like breathing really heavy. I'm like, why are you breathing on my cheek? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mouth breather. Yeah. Like, stop. <laughs> Sorry for all the audio middle. listeners right there, but we just had to give you a representation. Oh, you have to like lightly push them. Away. You can't even hit, like you want to hit them. Like, you're like, they oh, have no concept of like, like personal space. The 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 like four finger like yeah. <laughs> top of the cranium push, where it's just like <laughs> it's like it's not enough to for someone to go like this, but like enough for the kid to be like, what's going yeah. on here? And they just back yeah. up. <laughs> and you know what I feel like? It's like the classic, you have any games on your phone? Oh my gosh, games no, I got games your for phone. you. Get your- <laughs> do you have, Get have you heard of Temple Run? Yeah. Have you heard of the, do you have it? I, I like, I, I like I'm playing Temple Run. At Temple Run. I'm good at Temple Run. <laughs> Trauma! <laughs> <laughs> you probably suck at Subway Surfer. I do, like I do. You're Timmy, absolutely do right. I'm terrible. It. Okay, so Ice Cream Man stiffed my kid. My kid ran outside to get an ice cream from the ice cream man. Kiddo returned a little later, sad. I asked what was wrong. She said, I asked the ice cream man for my change and he gave me this lollipop and drove off before I could say anything. My kid doesn't like lollipops. Even if she did, it wouldn't have been fair trade, not by a long shot. I drove over to Costco and bought a new box of ice cream bars. For the next few weeks, my kid shared ice cream with all the kids on our side of the neighborhood. My kids made some new friends and no one on our side of the neighborhood bought ice cream from the ice cream man during that time. And also an unintended side effect. When we ran out, other parents started chipping in and providing snacks for the kids who played outside. That's it. Just a little, little petty revenge. Little. What did the ice cream man do? He stole the kids money. They're like, can I get change? And he's like, no. We didn't find anything else out about the ice cream man. No, because... It's a, it's this is how real life is. He just disappears. 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's never there he when took, you want him. He took that change and he left. He's never there when you want him. I'm like, I want ice cream in it. He's never there when I want it. I did troll the ice cream man once oh, what'd you do? with a group of friends. We'd be like, like he'd be like halfway down the block. We'd be like, ice cream man, ice cream man. He'd stop and we'd run away. Wow. <laughs> That's why he stopped coming to your neighborhood. Little sociopath. <laughs> listen, listen, that was like they, all the way down there. You don't think there. they talk and they recognize they know where you are moving to. Like, don't go to the neighborhood. No, because like, they went to my next neighborhood. No problem. And then they saw, you, they were like, they saw sure Brandon. Come to think of it, Brandon, do you know what? Yeah. Do you know what age we're living in? <laughs> Facebook has your your facial recognition. Apple, the FBI. You don't think the ice cream man can be like that's the Brandon from knows. six years ago? They know. Yeah, I remember him. Well, it was like to... double digits, not six. You know, we getting a little up there in age. It was about yeah ten years ago. <laughs> what are you talking about? I mean, maybe even more. I don't think the ice cream man. The ice cream man was old when we did it. So, so you're saying he's not with us anymore. I don't know if he's there. <laughs> he might not be, is what you're saying. Yeah. But it was funny. He is found, that like he a family funny. business? Like you pass that from generation to generation. Is, is the truck passed down? Is the business <laughs> passed down? Or is there an overall Get ice in that cream, mic. Oh, is there an overall ice cream business that you work for? Or is there a yeah, is we're a, a corporation. Are they independent? Yeah, I think they're independent. independent. I thought they were independent. So I'm like, your dad was an ice cream man. Do you become an ice cream man? Like, you get my van, you get all my <laughs> yeah. refrigerated things. You get all the frozen packets that I don't make it. Yeah. Through. You get the freezer burn ice cream that nobody buys, exactly. but it's there. It's been here for 10 for years. For 10 years. I'll just give it to a little kid sometimes because they don't know any better. That's. I worked at a Subway slash Goodrich ice cream. Oh, store. it was a split oh. one. Yeah, it was a split one. And people weren't really coming in for ice cream, so that ice cream was old. <laughs> and when they would come and they're like, I want this ice cream. I'm like, it's been here for like a year and a half probably. I got that ice cream. I and when I'm going, I'm I love like, the bubblegum one. It's so hard. So I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> if you could just give me one minute, <laughs> one please. Second. And then don't ask them, like, I want a milkshake. So I'm like, put this hard ice cream in the cup. <laughs> And the, the machine's like, <laughs> and I'm, like <laughs> I'm ripping through cups because I'm trying to actually get I'm like, and I just put another cup. I'm like, <laughs> I'm sick of, and there's like, you can smell like the, you know, the metal, warm just metal. Burning. Yeah, you're like, <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, here you go. And they're like, mm. that makes so much like, sense. <laughs> and the mom's just watching, like, <laughs> yeah. And they see me because I'm sweating. I'm like, <laughs> rip through three cups. And then they're like, and that's a milkshake. There you no, go, that's Sonny. exactly how it was. At. That makes so Don't much sense. Don't go to yeah. Subway. Because I used cream. to go there. I used to go there like when I didn't want Ted and Wally's. Yeah. And I was like. Why do I keep going here? It seems like they don't even know how to serve ice cream, but that's because that's not the like that's we would serve we would only have like a couple flavors like butter, brickle, and vanilla would always be gone. Cheesecake, strawberry cheesecake. Oh, strawberry cheesecake that too. But every other fun. flavor, especially cotton candy. Or I no, love bubble the gum. bubble gum. Bubble gum. That was the was one the I love. One. No one eats bubble gum. Because so bubble gum ice there. cream is gross. Yeah. It's criminal. No, it's, it's gross. not. Yes. The idea of bubblegum ice exactly cream is not about. a thing. It had just the little bubblegum pieces in it. Oh, I love biting well, So you're eating gum? Liked it, and that's uh, the only four people would eat it. Say it again. What? That sounds... How long ago was that? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, that irritated uh, me. Uh, 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 uh yep. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> A bubblegum cream slush. That's nasty. That sounds so That's good. That's absolutely gross. Do they still, like Goodrich, they still have that? Yeah, I think they do. I wonder if it's like one of those things that's slowly disappearing, though. You know. Like the Long John Silvers and KFC. That's, that's that Long like, John Silvers is still there. Who is who is keeping them open? They just got a remodel. What? They got a remodel, and it looks really Say nice. Say psych right now. I, I wish Wait, I could. They did get a remodel. <laughs> they did get a remodel. They got the millennial remodel. I they got go, that little. It's like gray with just random yes, lines. Yes, it's gray. It I need to check it out. But it kind of looks posh. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, like they kind of ate. They're kind of tricking you. Back. They're like, maybe I could they, go in here. You it's know, just like Arby's, if like I knew the food, <laughs> if Arby's I. Still here. <laughs> Sadie so said, "Don't bring this up again because I will defend Arby's again. I won't defend Arby's. Well, a little bit. <laughs> I. Why are you here? It's hard. Why are you, you know? here? They're not great, but they're not. They're not 
absolutely horrible. They're not a Long John Silver's. They're you know why? same level to me. You know why, though? Because they don't sell veggies. Vegetable, like the next, next story. story. Did we even read the other one? <laughs> I'm just going to steal it from you. <laughs> yeah. We did. It was just really quick. Oh, the oh, ice cream one. That was the one we just read. Yeah. I, I didn't think we read it. <laughs> Hey, can we do the can we do the first the other one first? Which one? The twin one. Because vegetable. That's my twizzy. Because the twin one's heavier than the vegetable one. The vegetable one's a lot more light. Okay, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. A lot more palatable. Okay. Well, some might say Arby's and Golden Corral are twins because they're so bad. Like this, this next, next story. story. Boom. <laughs> Great job, B. Yeah, Arby's Golden Corral. Long so. Are you guys ready for this story? This one's not safe for work and potential potential essay. I, I think we're at work right now, aren't we? <laughs> well, it's safe for this work. Oh, we're right. at work. Okay. Not safe for work for listeners. Hard at work. So this is true off my chest. I found out it wasn't my boyfriend who was having sex with me. It was his twin. Oh. <laughs> Good lord. What? No, that's that's uncomfortable. No, that's I don't something like that. that they do in like TV shows. Like, oh, it's a funny thing, but when you think about it in real life, it's that not is funny. So that is not funny at all. Yeah, I think oh I just panic laughed. Gosh. I don't do that. <laughs> yeah, that is uncomfortable. I I feel icky. So my boyfriend Jay has oh, a twin brother K. Wow. They're almost ninety nine percent identical, apart from one feature, which is their nose. My boyfriend has a big nose, while Kay's nose Kay's nose is smaller and doesn't have much of a bridge. Apart from that, they're identical. They even talk the same, have the same voice, same everything. But I only love Jay. Four days ago, I was laying in bed and the lights were very dim and I didn't have my glasses on. So when Jay walked in from work talking to me normally, I didn't think anything about it and started chatting with him. And one thing after another, he was suddenly kissing me and I kissed him back. He was taking off my pants and, you know, started eating me out to be blunt. I mm. was enjoying myself, but after a few minutes, I realized something. When my boyfriend would do this, I would always feel his nose pressed against me and he would use it to his advantage and intentionally move it alongside his tongue, but I wasn't feeling his nose. I looked out and when I focused on Jay, I realized his nose was small and that wasn't my fucking boyfriend between my thighs. <sighs> I panicked and I didn't know what to do. I just froze up. Kay noticed and asked if I was all right. I said yes, but I needed a break and I ran to the bathroom. I didn't confront him. I don't know why, but I just felt scared and confused. So I locked myself in the bathroom until he eventually left after knocking dozens of times on my door. After I made sure he was gone, I went to my parents' place. I have been here ever since. I haven't answered any of my boyfriend's calls or texts. I didn't tell anyone because I just don't want anyone to know. It's not really understandable, I know, but I don't want anyone who knows me to know what happened to me because I'm embarrassed for some reason. I feel used and just dumb. And I'm now realizing that there are numerous times when it could have been Kay having sex with me in the States when I was tipsy or tired or the lights weren't on. Wait, they live together? I think they might all live together. All live together. But yeah, that is so uncomfortable because like the more that I just kept reading it the first time, I was like, oh my God, because it was him initiating oh it. Oh my God. She was under the assumption that it was her boyfriend. It's because I see that as assault. That that's is assault. That's, no, that's right, for sure. Yeah. That is 100% assault. Thinking you're sleeping with someone and in reality is somebody someone completely different. Someone that you weren't comfortable with sleeping with. Right. Ew. And it's totally up to her, like how she wants to handle the situation. But I'm like, you gotta report this. Like that's, I feel like this is something that you should report. Yeah. Or at least at the very least, tell the brother. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I'm like, has he done this before with previous partners of the brothers? Is this something like that's common? Especially because she's like, he could have done it before. Yeah. She yeah. was like, yeah. there have been times where I'm like. I don't know. I was tipsy. It was dark. It could have happened before. Yeah. And now I feel like just in general, even if she is with Jay and she doesn't tell her, her boyfriend anything, she's just going to be like, I can't tell you guys apart sometimes. Like there's literally one defining feature yeah. and it's your nose. That's it. Otherwise. Wow. I guess you can do a nose check every time. That's so gross. Yeah. That is so. I hate it. That is so messed up. And the fact that she feels embarrassed, like, 
not like that's fault. not your fault. That's right. not your fault. Because it's even the, if it was, you had trouble seeing, he knew. He, he knew. knew what he was he doing. He knew what he was doing. You were under the assumption yeah. it was someone else. That's all on him. He was taking advantage of you. So. I have no words. That is disgusting. Mm-hmm. That has pissed me off. And th- that is a thing that you mentioned before, the way in like movies and stuff, it's seen as like kind of a cool thing yeah. or a funny thing. Yeah. That's kind of crazy yeah. how the way that they portray it is like, oh, it's a cool or a funny thing or, you know, you know, usually like in shows, it's like go to work for me or something. Mm-hmm. But there has been plots of like movies or shows. Like, yeah, Twin Kiss My Girlfriend. Yeah. yeah. I, that's what I'm like. I, w- I really want you to tell because I feel like this can't be the first time he's done it. Somebody else said that. Okay, so the, here's the comments. Talk to your boyfriend. At the very least, that was S.A. Somebody else said it was straight up rape. It is. Somebody it else is. said mm-hmm. the way he walked in casually seems like he might have done this to her before. Like he was so confident about it. Right. He's just like, I'm just being. No- yes. Acting like the brother. Yeah. I bet you the brother doesn't even. I hope he doesn't. That's Let's what pray like. he doesn't know. I'm hoping he doesn't know. And this is not like a thing they do. Yeah. Like where they're aware and they're like, oh, yeah, we can just share chicks, yeah. basically. Yeah. Yeah. Let's pray that's not it. I put vegetables in my food to stop my roommate's kid from eating it. Mom threatened legal action. I, 26 female, lived in a rented house with a single mother, 30 female, and her son, 6 male. I had another person living living with me, but they moved out and the mother moved in. I don't mind living with her and her kid. It's fine and we kind of do our own thing. I spend a lot of time at my boyfriend's house or working. Our work schedules collide, so we really don't interact much, but we, when we do, it's fine. No issue there. I want to start with saying she clearly struggles financially, but I don't think it's an excuse. I don't make lots of money either. However, I noticed that my food would go missing or portions would be taken from it. I assumed it was her kid, so I asked her if she'd stop him from eating my food. I was calm about it, and she said she would. It didn't really upset me when it first started. It started getting annoying when I'd get home from work and expect to have a meal's worth of leftovers in the fridge, only to see it picked through or just gone. I kept bringing it up, and she started getting annoyed with me bringing it up. Just from observing them, I realized that neither of them ever eat vegetables. And judging by the food that would get picked through and the food that would be untouched, anything with green in it was avoided. Orange chicken could be gone, but chicken and broccoli would be untouched. So I started putting vegetables in everything. I find vegetables vegetables to be so delicious. And anything green or not a potato does not get eaten. So I can mix some bell peppers into the food and it would be fine. I make a big portion of vegetables pretty frequently anyway, so I just started putting it in everything I eat. If I had leftover mashed potatoes, I'd pour green beans in it and mix it up. If I had leftover cheesy bacon fries, I'd pour broccoli all over it and mix it in. Usually my homemade stuff has vegetables in it, but I started making sure everything I did. I made a pot of mac and cheese, the kid's favorite thing, and poured in ro- roasted Brussels sprouts. Ooh, that sounds good. Which is actually delicious to me, and I'm <laughs> eating more vegetables, so it's a win-win. <laughs> Maddie, he was... <laughs> she had been seeming annoyed, <laughs> but we were all home when I made the pot of mac and cheese. She was in the living room and saw me get out the Brussels sprouts and was like, what are you going to do with that? And I poured them in. She said I was being greedy and annoying. I just said, I like Brussels sprouts. And that was it. She said, we need food. And I told her to go get some. Or stop buying only prepackaged things and your money will go further. I think she sees it as as some big act of revenge. But I simply want to be able to eat my food. I also want to add that the sharing is not the issue. It's expecting to have food there and it's not. So often I'd be working a long day and get home expecting to have a meal's worth of food and it's all gone. Mm-hmm. Or I wake up in a rush and have my food ready to eat in the morning only to find it gone. So now I have to skip breakfast. If she would simply text sometimes, hey, is it okay if we eat food item? I would, I would know and know to make other plans. I would stop for food or know I have to whip something up when I get home. Also, I think eating the last of someone else's food is crazy and rude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, if someone makes a big terrible. pot of something and you ask for a serving, sure. But if someone made something and there's one serving left, you eat it without permission, that is evil as hell. So you want to wait for the update? Yeah. I don't think she's a... Uh, it's not Am I the Asshole, is it? No. It's Petty Revenge. Petty, petty revenge. revenge. Hey, I mean, you are already eating your vegetables anyway. It's a way to keep them away. And 
like she said, I can understand if it's like every once in a while, like, hey, can we have some of that? Definitely don't take the last of it. Yeah. Yeah. But the fact that she comes home after a long day of work, is expecting to eat food that she paid for and it's gone. It's like, hmm, okay. I bet you eat day keeps the nibblers away. <laughs> keeps the nibblers That was away. perfect. That was really good. But yeah. Keep putting yeah. the veggies in there. Yeah, because her being bold and being like watching her put vegetables, like, what are you doing? What are you like, doing? I'm like, like this isn't food. your food yeah, anyway. Do you care? You hungry hippo? And then to say we need we food. We need help us. You're like, did you ever ask me for food? Yeah. Yeah, the, the audacity from her the is, audacity. Is, is crazy. <laughs> like, you, you live there. Like, don't expect for someone to help you out, like, completely, like, if someone gives you a hand when you're down, great. Take that hand. Don't ask for more. <laughs> Help them up. Help them up. <laughs> but don't ask for like more. Like this is like a you give a mouse a cookie type of scenario. No, she was like fully right. expecting like, okay, you got you you Explain know you that. feed us, right? It's like, no, I don't have two kids. And we don't like veggies. Wait, was that normal you guys that saying? I've never heard that. What? Give a mouse a cookie scenario? I actually haven't heard that one either. Like it's like I feel like I've heard something really similar, but I guess I don't think it was. If you give a mouse a cookie, if you you they want more, right? Like it's like Mm -hmm. she's allowing her to stay there, Mm -hmm. and now she's like, well, now that I'm staying here, you know my conditions. Give us food now. So it's like there's always something else. Um, It's just gonna keep adding up. It's just always a little bit more. Because I guess mice do love cookies. You've never read that book? Never. I think I remember a mouse that a cookie, book. He'll ask for some milk. If you ask, if you give a mouse a cookie and milk, he'll ask for a warm bed, and it just keeps, <laughs> a warm bed. Oh, keep, it, keep, it does keep going. Yeah, it does keep. I think he literally does ask for a warm bed, and then it's but like, after the milk. Yeah. Wow. So then he can go to sleep. This is bold, though. <laughs> he's getting a meal. He's getting to you know a place to sleep at right. night. It it never ends. Which is true. Stop talking to mice first. Of all. How's this mouse asking you all this? He stuff? had overalls. Never mind. Enough said. <laughs> Absolutely. This enough. mouse was. Yeah. Right. I think I'm ready for the update. Let's though. The update. Update. So I've been steadfast with putting vegetables in everything. I put vegetables in things I've never even thought of. This is carried <laughs> on, and the mom calls me a jerk, but will not verbalize that she's eating my food. She just sees me making a lasagna and adding celery and bell peppers in the layers of. Oh wow. <laughs> she just sees me making lasagna and adding celery and bell peppers in the layers and fumes off to the side the only thing I can't add veg- vegetables to is like snacks like chips or if I bake brownies or cookies however this is easily remedied by putting baked goods in a Tupperware and keeping them in my room same with chips as I pre- previously stated the sharing is not the issue recently the kid knocked on my door and asked if he would have a bag of microwave popcorn I said yes and gave him one. All of this would be way less annoying if she just texts, hey, can I have some of this and waited for my response before just helping herself. I do feel for for the mom because she clearly struggles with cooking and trying new foods. She is older than me and winces at the thought of biting into anything green and it's spreading to her kid, but it's no excuse. A few days I was making taco meat out of ground beef and like usual, usual, she was looking without looking. She was off to the side watching my every move but trying to look normal. I made a dish the day before that involved sauteed mushrooms and cut up peppers. So when the meat was almost ready, I opened the fridge and she freaked when she saw me holding the mushrooms. She said, son's name hates mushrooms. And I just poured them in the pan and mixed along with the cut up peppers. This caused her to react in a way I'd never seen from her before. She was yelling and stomping through the kitchen while the kid just watched. Felt bad for the kid to have to see his mom like that. People were worried about her tampering with my food. I don't think she's the kind to do that, but if she did, I would report that right away. She was flipping out, but she didn't snatch my food or knock anything over. She was opening and slamming cabinets, and it was all very silly. Then she started going off about how she was going to get the authorities involved. I just told her, sure, and she needs to relax. She seemed genuinely upset and stressed, and I told her that I understand being a single mom is hard, but she needs to use her government assistance more responsibly. She'll come home with cold mac and cheese, sushi, and chicken from the grocery store, prepared foods, and blow it, blow all of it on that. I suggested food pantries and buying ingredients that last a while, like potatoes. She said I was being condescending, and I always have food to eat. This is to address the 
just make a portion of your food and set it aside for her and the kid. I do not make enough money to regularly feed two other people. If every now and then she asks some of my leftovers, sure. But if this is a consistent thing that was happening, it's not as simple as giving her leftovers that I won't eat anyway. If I make a pot of something, I expect to live off of that for the next few days. If it is eaten, then my money is messed up and I have to go shopping again and budget for more food. Waste my time and money. Yeah, even in the update. Yeah, definitely continue what you're doing. I think the mom's reaction is really, really out there. Telling. Um, definitely telling. But the fact that she won't openly say. Yeah. I'm eating I'm it. I'm going to eat that. What are you doing? Knowing she's going to eat that. Because she knows that it's wrong. Like, she Obviously. won't even take the, she won't even ask. But she saying would, things like, my son won't like, doesn't like mushrooms. Like, okay. And? and? and like, what? what does it's that have to do son. with anything? <laughs> so make something he likes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Did you guys want to reenact this one? Yeah. Oh. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, so. I'll be the little boy. I'll be the, um... OP. Who wants to be the vegetables? I'll be the vegetables. Uh, uh, he always wants to be. <laughs> Anything be. inanimate, that? Brandon wants to uh, be. It. You have the, you're going to be the crazy Karen lady. Oh, dang it. I'm the inanimate king. Mom, I'm hungry. Are you, baby? Yeah. Um, We got chicken nuggets. We have chicken fingers. We have I chicken ate all those already. Okay. Well, um, I'm going to make some food. I'm just going to. Let me go check the fridge oh. for you, baby. I'm a celery. Ooh, tacos. Ooh. Here you go, kid. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah, it's good. Oh, that was really good. Yeah. Thanks, Mom. Oh. Um. Just being a, what is that? A strange celery. It was a popsicle. <laughs> I don't see the stain, so it wasn't a popsicle. What did you just eat? Don't talk to my kid. Talk to me. <laughs> yeah. Ew, celery. I am celery. I hate celery. Too, what so. did your gremlin just eat? Wow. <gasps> Mom. Wow. Celery would never say what something like that. What did your gremlin just My eat? child. Your crotch fruit. <gasps> what did they just eat? Oh. Celery would say that was hot. Why, why is he eating my food? It's not your food. It is my food. Oh. Is it your, your food? Oh. Did you I found another it? taco. Oh. <laughs> good one. Oh, you're such a good eater. You're such a good eater. Did you buy it? I thought I had, and that's my bad. And you have no money, so no, you didn't. Okay. It's uh, not your food. Okay, now we know. Uh, let's move on, okay? I promise I won't do it again. I don't want you to eat my food, and I don't I, want your son won't. to eat my food. We won't. But and also, if you do, just ask. I will. I will. Have, okay, I will. Common courtesy. But we will absolutely ask next time. Okay, I'm really full, Mom. Are you full? I think I'm gonna go to bed. Okay, Thank go you. To bed. I love Thanks, you. Mom. Love, I love you. you. Thanks, Celery. So I have like <laughs> eight tacos. Hey, hey. Celery would him. never eat that much. I love him, but I might help myself to a taco as well. <laughs> she <laughs> ate celery. Like just witnessed the mommy you want to. That's crazy. I would tacos. never. Celery would never let that happen to me. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> you know what? Now I'm sleepy. <laughs> now that I think about it, they are so veggie phobic. They really were for no <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> I just had a bad dream about celery, mom. Oh, me too. How about hey, I celery says start? it should calm that down, maybe. I think I'm gonna so start adding vegetables to everything. To I'm talking to myself. Okay, it seems like as I heard I'm, another voice. As I'm devising my okay. plan. Not nah, celery says, don't worry about it. You know what, Celery? Come up in this lasagna I'm making. Wait, okay, wait, talk. hold on. Celery thinks... <laughs> that was a little seductive. <laughs> if I can break character for a second. Come up in this lasagna then, Celery. Look at my camera. What is happening? <laughs> <laughs> only vegetables. Okay. <laughs> only, only vegetables. Tell me, what do you know about that? It's celery Go back to sleep. I only looked at Go your point. Celery this thinks it's only people. veggies. It's only veggies. <laughs> only <laughs> veggies. Come on, celery, come up in here. Celery <laughs> thinks lasagna. Lasagna, celery, not 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 celery style. But celery will do it. All right, do I'm going to get up in that lasagna. Do it. <laughs> Are you hungry, Timmy? Celery and lasagna. Oh, yeah, I'm really hungry. Oh, I'm actually making some food right now. Oh, really? And I'm, I 
I have these mushrooms. Wait, what? Oh, what is that? Mushrooms? Yeah. yeah. Ew. What is this? Super Mario Brothers? Why do we need mushrooms? No. I, I'm going to add them to the dish, actually. Okay. But, Timmy, you hate mushrooms, right? Yeah, yeah, I don't like them. Yeah. Oh, he hates them. Yeah. Me personally, yeah. I think he mushrooms are pretty them? good. He hates them. I'll add extra. I am okay. a mushroom. <laughs> oh! oh! Yeah. Oh! I don't like that because mom just yeah. threw up. So I think I'm going to throw up. Oh, God. Throw up if you want to. I mean, did he have enough food Blech. in his stomach to throw up? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see the I saw him talking? To, you said it, you weren't talking to anyone. Who is that? Celery. <laughs> Celery. You're Only ugly, so. veggies, Clay. <laughs> Celery's in those videos too. Oh, yeah. that. Celery's everywhere. Wait, Timmy, what are you looking at on the internet? <laughs> Don't look at my laptop. Oh it's, my god, it's Celery in, every, in such weird position. It's in everything. Celery with lasagna. <laughs> Late night snack. Celery oh with <laughs> Mom, I just that saw celery. Oh. Mom, I just saw celery with chicken noodle soup. Oh my gosh, go to sleep. Mommy needs to have some alone time. And peanut butter and raisins. <laughs> celery and chili. Celery and chili. Oh, oh my, my celery goodness. Celery and chili. I'm into it. Wait, wait, wait. No, no. Check this one. Huh? <laughs> celery says three celery, one lasagna. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Two celeries oh. and a cup of lasagna. Oh. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm back on the vegetable tree now. <laughs> celery make you strong because celery is strong too. <laughs> celery got a deep we voice. We took this to a place that I don't even know. <laughs> um, Mom, I can't sleep because I'm having bad dreams about vegetables and I'm really hungry. Okay, yeah, Specifically it. celery. This lasagna has so much celery in it. It has a lot of celery. And I don't think we can't eat it because celery is going to be your dad. Mm. <laughs> what? I'm going to marry celery. I've never been more Celery thinks Wait, that's here so we like there, vegetables now. We can see where it are goes. you gonna be the stepdad or the dad that stepped, stepped up? Celery. Celery's gonna be celery. Dad, <laughs> dad? don't so, celery dad? says don't say that. Don't say dad? that. Touch don't him. Touch him. That's your dad. son. Dad, celery, that's your son. Celery now. don't Hug like me, this. Dad. Celery don't think this is okay. Put your stalk around him, celery. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> celery think this is good I've, never, now, I've never experienced this before celery did not think it was going to go this way like celery, celery says you don't even like that y'all don't like vegetables I, I know i don't like them i love one now oh and see <laughs> <laughs> i like how sadia just said i'm not interacting i in literally this disassociate <laughs> <laughs> the most unhinged Improbably, <laughs> and to think it was all about celery. Yeah, <laughs> Brandon I'll, can't be anything in that anymore. <laughs> he I don't has think, to play a live game. <laughs> the one thing I noticed about Sadia too is you naturally have a flirty voice. So it's like whenever we do these reenactments, do really? somehow you end up flirting with everybody you're interacting <laughs> with. So I'm like, you're flirting with celery, Sadia. Like, what's going on here? Um, that made me see the benefits of celery. <laughs> She's like, he, okay. Ma, you were completely flipped by the end. Yeah, I was. Yeah. You were down. Once you go celery, you never go on back. Only, only veggie side. She's like, you can call me a vegetarian. Yeah. <laughs> Once you go celery, you, guys you never were, go back. You guys were so deep in it. I literally just had to look at Steph and be like, do you see this too? <laughs> <laughs> and it's either going to be a hit or a complete miss. Yeah, people are either going to love it or hate it. And I think love it. I think those who get it, get it. Yeah. And those who don't, don't. And that's okay. That's, that's all that matters. <laughs> this is Adia said, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Thank you for being part of this, Adia. <laughs> and thank you guys for watching. Thank you. That happened. And if you want more veggie-related porn, we got it for you. <laughs> Only veggies. Only veggies. Only veggies. <laughs> Check out Comfort Level Podcast on the Only Veggies. <laughs> is there. Yes, yeah, celery is definitely there. You got a full page spread. It's just celery going into a chicken for yeah. Thanksgiving <laughs> or a turkey. Oh. <laughs> celery gonna do this real nice. Celery gonna put his foot in it. Oh and oh the turkey's God. like, yeah. it's better on my oh. No! <laughs> oh my God. All right, we'll see you guys next week. And the, the love just comes back. It's yeah. like, bye, that's guys. not right. Bye, guys. Bye, guys. <laughs>